gonna go get uh, Bodie. Hey there, uh, what we know about Kalamaka Lake is, is that it's a large lake in the interior plateau of southern central British Columbia, Canada, east of the Okanagan Lake and approximately four kilometers south of Vernon. The lake is named for the Okanagan Indian chief who occupied its northern shores. You might want to check your U.S. spelling on, on these terms. At different times of the year, the color of the lake can range from cyan to indigo in different spots at the same time. The color of the water is derived from light scattering caused by the precipitation of calcite. Random letters numbers. As you can see, there is extensive information on uh, Kalamaka Lake. Uh, go to your Wikipedia source for more information. That's our ride right there. <laughs> Valet parking. How's it, how's it going? <laughs> right. Finally, I grew my sea legs, and I had the wind in my hair, and there's nothing more exhilarating than having the wind in your hair on the sea, and nothing more annoying than the goddamn wind blowing in your microphone. So, then I was finally able to chill at sea level, which really is an actual sea level, really. It's 392 meters up in the mountains. Not too high, but at least an American quarter mile high and is nestled in the Sweet Valley system. Amazing geology. But I'll touch on that more later. Look, look at what's close to me. Just by going for an annoying hour in any direction. Some will criticize and say, oh, well, yeah, when you get there, you need a boat or something. Well, yeah, yeah, toys are nice. I get it. But it's not about the boat. It's about the fact that this is what's available to you. Depends how much you want it. And I'm not talking about this place even. I'm talking about places just like this within your reach. Look, the boat could be replaced by a kayak, a dinghy. But if you're a strong swimmer and you can hitchhike out here, you're golden. But regardless of all that, what we need to do is we need to protect this. Not in the tree hugging hippie kind of way either. I mean in the tactical sense of home. We need to redefine our place here. And if you find yourself lucky enough to get out of the city and explore, guess what? You're already ahead of the best game in town. Yeah, I call it out of town. Yeah. Just look at the beauty. More natural resources at your fingertips and you have the capability of learning how to utilize all of it before they pull the plug. I don't want to spread any fear pornography. We need to preserve our knowledge and teach everyone who is blinded by the Google state. Yeah, 
keep hard copies of things, put them in boxes and bury them for future generations. <laughs> Sorry, I almost went on a rant. This beautiful, yet so close to nature, and yet you can still have your internet and GPS. I don't recommend it, but I also, I'm not entirely opposed to it. It's a slippery slope, fuck yeah. Slippery slopes, slippery slopes. Slippery slopes is the name of the game, I guess. But don't take my word for it. This game takes balls. This game takes some serious rock climbing skills and seriously, it, it, and serious, possibly life changing decision making capability. Rick B will demonstrate. Peace. Signing out.